Brother, you believe in the Bible? Brother and sister, y'all believe in the Bible? We teach in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. God's people are chosen to be special, okay? You might be an Israelite. If you repent and keep these commandments, God will choose you, right? Many are called, few are chosen. What's your name, brother? Boogie. What is it? Boogie. Boogie? Boogie. Boogie. Right? You know you're an Israelite? You don't. What's your nationality? Where you come from? What, 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 what place do you, where do you come from? What's your origin? Black. 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 You an you a Israelite, bro. I just prophesied for my time right there. What's your name? Larry? Larry? They call me Boogie though. They call you Boogie. What color is Christ? Black. He black. How you know that? Sure, I, I, I know that. Uh, uh, hey, right. Hey, are you married? I was married before I'm divorced. You married before you divorced? I turned 52 Thursday, man. Say it again? I turned 52 Thursday. Hey, all praise to the Most High that he allowed you to live yeah, this long and, and get this verse. Hold on. We're going to read something for you. Um... 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. What are we doing right now? Right? We're bringing out the scriptures. Right? This is the prophecy of Jesus the Christ. The prophecy of the end. The prophecy of how God's chosen people can repent and get their lives together. That's what we're teaching right now. Out of the Holy Bible. Right? You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible, sister? All praises. I praise you, young man. All right, if you like, I'm gonna see how much you like it. Right, read on. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man, you a man? You a man, right? A man of God, right? Right. Read on. Having his head covered. So every man praying or prophesying. That's what we're doing right now. Right, you're receiving that prophecy. Right, you're participating in this right now. Right. Read on. Hold on. Dishonoreth his head he dishonor of his head so when we're bringing god's scriptures out right and we're teaching this sister that that she is god's chosen people and that she needs to teach her son god's commandments in order to get the kingdom that's what we're teaching right now as we're doing this thing right you a man of god right what does the scripture say in verse 4 every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his Head. Who are you dishonoring? You dishonoring Jesus to Christ. Right. Right? If you're a man of God, right? Just like when you when you go into a football game, I know you've been to one before, and they say, we're going to honor uh, white man Jesus, or we're going to honor uh, the white man that conquered this country, and we're going to all pledge allegiance to what? To the flag. To the United States of America. What you do? You take your hat off, don't you? You've done it before. You've done it before, right? Why? Because we believe that this picture right here is our God. That's what we believe. We believe that this man right here, hold on, hold on. We believe that this man right here, right? We believe that he is our master. And everybody that looks like him, we should reverence, right? But we shouldn't, we shouldn't reverence the most high God, right? We shouldn't, we shouldn't reverence anybody that look like this man right here, right? Because when I look at my brother, when I look at my brothers, hold on, when I look at my brothers, I see Jesus Christ in them. But you, you're printing right? it, but you don't let everybody else get their printing it. No, no, I'm just reading the scriptures. No. All right, what you got to say, bro? That's the scripture. That's why you can't lure young people in this church because y'all more opinionated. Let them force their opinion, then they come into the church. All right, what's your opinion? It's like this. I'm 52 years old. I'm, I'm taking it. You already know the white man sugar that box. I'm going to leave it like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that, and I'm not knocking what you're doing. I'm saying, but let, hey, look, let the young folks go separate. That's why it took a lot of youth out of church. What right? did I say that was my opinion? No, no, I ain't say that. I'm just saying, younger folks don't go to church, man, because, look, they see the older folks saying about this and that, and they ain't about that. that All right, side. watch this. I'll let you speak, right? Yeah. Can I speak now, or you going to leave? You gonna stay? You gonna stick around? We gonna dialogue, right? We gonna have a conversation, all right? We gonna battle. Okay, okay. No, I don't wanna battle you. I just wanna have a discussion. All right. I ain't knocking you down. I love you. You coming against God's word, man? Look, 
you can't win with this, man. You can't, you can't, you can't come against this stuff, man. Hold it's gonna be here on. when I'm going and when Hold you go. Hold on, read what you got. Read what you got. Read what you got. I'm Mason. I'm Mason, man. Wait. Come on, man. It's the book of First Peter, chapter four and verse eleven. This is Larry. This is what we teach, right? I'm not giving you my opinion about anything. Oh, 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 Wait. Oh, 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 if that. any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. What are we reading? The Bible. The Bible says what, 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 that you just your honor your God? head what's if your, your head God? is covered and what's you're your uh, and you're a man. What's Did we read down the Bible, sister? That's not my opinion. What's your job from though? Israel United in Christ. Israel United in Christ. We what teach. Is that? Where is it? We have a school uh, right across this bridge on 222 23rd Street. That's where our school is. You can come learn on the Sabbath day because that's God's holy day. That's, right. that's the day we fellowship and come together. It's hey, not bro. Sunday. It's not Sunday. Sunday reverences uh, the sun. Sunday reverences the sun that you see. It's it's a pagan worship practice right. that your oppressor taught you right. in slavery. That's where that comes from. Hey, the bro. venerable day of the sun. You can look it up. Hey, bro. Look it up. All right. That it's not it's not holy. It's nothing about that is holy. Alright? And Christ did not he did not keep Sunday holy. He kept the Sabbath holy. See y'all right? don't want to listen, man. Hold on. Read it again. Read it again what you got. No, y'all wanna No, if any man speak. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. We're gonna speak the oracles of God, brother. The oracles of God. I'm trying to teach you the Bible, right? Sister, you got a question about Where everybody go? Where right? I say right, I'm going to show you something according to the Bible. You know your nationality? What is it? You're an Israelite. All praises to the Most High. All praises to the Most High. Brother, you can come back, but we're going to teach the Bible. I can't listen to your opinion. I'm not going to... I can't listen to your opinion, brother. Okay? I can't listen to your opinion, brother. Sister, you know you're an Israelite. Do you keep God's commandments? You try to? All praises, all praises. Do you fellowship with the uh, congregation? GOCC? Okay. All right, well, as long as you're here, we're going to teach the Bible. We're going to speak the oracles of God. You got any questions for us? Yes. God made man in his name, right? Firstborn, shit, man. Uh, no, 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 that's when he created the, get it, get it, yeah, you got it? Yep, read that. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Right, so it's already, he already there. Okay. Yeah. Let us create man in our image. Correct. Yes. Right. Yes. No, the images, he did create those, but that's he didn't he had more than one creation. I know, but Christ was the firstborn of all creations. Right. And verse 26, no, let us create man in our image. No, he's, he's talking to his heavenly host. He's talking to Christ. He's talking to the angels. That's the us in the verse. That's the us in the verse. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you something real quick. Get, uh, get Sirach chapter 1, verse 26. Get Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. One second, sister. I'm going to show you something. Because this is going to help you. Is it verse 26 that I want? Yep, get that. Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 1 and verse 26. If thou desire wisdom. Right. So what you want is wisdom in this Bible. You want to understand, because the whole Bible is, is wisdom, wouldn't you agree? You want to understand that thing. Read on. Keep the commandments. What does the Bible say? Keep the 
the commandments. So it's commandments that we have to keep in order to get wisdom. Right? Read on. And the Lord shall give her unto thee. I can desire it. I can want it. Right? I can desire it. I can want it. I can desire it. I can want wisdom. But if I'm not keeping God's commandments, it's going to be difficult for me to understand these things. Right? You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to show you something in the Bible. You may have been here when we brought it out. Say it again. Um, Deuteronomy. Yeah, Deuteronomy. And uh, you already know about, get Psalms 111.10. Read it anyway. And then Deuteronomy. All right. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. I'm just reading these things because it's like a, 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 a there's certain uh, prerequisites to the Most High giving you the wisdom and understanding of this Bible. One, you got to be an Israelite, right? You got to be an Israelite. You got to be keeping God's commandments, right? You got to fear the Lord. You have to you have to be doing these things and going in the Bible precept upon precept. You want the precept upon precept, right? But it's 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 some fear that you have to have that's gonna make you keep God's commandments before you gonna understand it all, right? Read what you got. It's the book of Psalms, chapter one eleven and verse ten. The fear of the Lord. Oh, that's what's gonna provoke you to do what God says do, right? Read on. Is the beginning of wisdom. That's the beginning of wisdom. Genesis is the beginning of the Bible, right? Read on. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Right. So a good understanding of this Bible comes from how? From keeping God's commandments. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.